Hi, I'm Mark from Sounds and Sync. Today I'm going to show you how the Edit Load Web File List window works and how it can load a series of web files and then export them as a Pro Tools session where each web file is spotted to its unique timestamp. Now I originally created this for ADR editors to be able to spot all of the web files from a session into a Pro Tools timeline so that you can easily grab bits or breaths or start surrender words from alternate takes, you know, even if you're told what the go take is. You could also use it uh, if you're editing uh, the location records of a musical event, um, be it pre-record or live, where there's lots of takes and you need to be able to have them spotted to the user timestamp to be able to say, um, select between takes and mix those uh, all those different elements before it goes into a picture edit. So let's just dive in and uh, have a look and see how this works. So here's edit load and we're just going to start by displaying the web file list window. So we just select spot web files from the window menu. And here I've got a folder of web files from an ADR record session. So we can either just select all of those webs and drop them onto the window or we can, I'll just clear them here, we can just drag a whole folder of our files onto the window. So all we have to do here is set the source uh, timestamp, whether it be original or user, and then we set the frame rate at which these web files were recorded at, uh, because unfortunately Pro Tools doesn't set that within the metadata of each web file. Uh, and then all we have to do is click Export Session. And we set the, uh, the prefix for each track name, uh, the start time, and any pull up, pull down, and click OK. And we'll just save that to the desktop as untitled. It saves there. And here's just a reminder from Edelo to say that uh, if you want to import this, uh, the tracks from the session into another Pro Tools session, you first have to open the one that you exported, uh, open that in Pro Tools, and save it. Um, otherwise you won't be able to import it into a different session. So we'll just open that session now. And here are all the, just make those tracks smaller. Here are all the takes here, positioned in the timeline, so that you can easily see, uh, as I said, how many takes are recorded for each queue. And you can just load up your, um, your pictures and guide track and cut away. So as I mentioned, the other thing you can do is load up location web files into this window and export them as a Pro Tools session. So we'll just have a look at that now. So here I've got a folder containing a bunch of web files from a location record. I'm just going to dump that onto the web file list window. And here you can see uh, from the channel column that uh, these web files contain multiple channels, as in they're uh, poly web files. And uh, you can also see the channel metadata um, of each web. Now there's one limitation that this web file list window has got is that uh, you can't export a Pro Tools session containing poly webs. Uh, unfortunately, the software that um, Avid have provided us with won't allow us to do that. So you've got two options. You can either uh, convert these poly webs into mono webs, or a, 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 you know, obviously a, a bunch of mono webs for each poly or you can export the session containing uh, these polywaves and all that you'll see in the Pro Tools session is the first channel and then you can use the field recorder workflow of Pro Tools to uh, link or, or find the other channels uh, from the polywaves and then you're actually then the session is using the polywaves and you're not having to recreate new media. So what I'll do is I'll first show you uh, how you can export these polywaves uh, in a Pro Tools session and use the field recorder workflow to find the other channels. So we'll just go export session. It's giving you a reminder here that you can't, it won't be able to export all the channels of the polywaves. Uh, just select defaults. Uh, I'll get into this when we export the mono webs because it doesn't actually have uh, apply that well when we're exporting just the first channel of the poly file. Um, and we'll just save that to the desktop as untitled. And here we've got the first channel of each of these polywap files. So then we can just set this up as a field recorder guide track. 
um, set the match criteria we can actually just set that to sound roll we could actually just use the um, file name as well either way now I'm just going to drop these location web files into the clip list and go expand by match criteria okay so then we have here's the track that uh, Edelo created and here's the tracks that uh, all the tracks from the location web files okay so you can actually see here that it's loaded track 5 here on track 5 and track 6 on track 6 so that's a way of um, being able to spot all the files of a location web file for a particular day into a Pro Tools timeline. So I'm just going to show you if you want to, uh, if you don't want to use the uh, field recorder workflow, I guess if you haven't got Pro Tools HD, you won't have that. So let's just demonstrate how you would split these polys into monos. And so I'll just create, just get rid of that session create a new one untitled uh, just on the desktop as well um, I'll just call this split and then we'll just drop them into the clip list go uh, export clips as files and we can go multiple mono I'll leave these as 48k 24-bit uh, we can go into the audio files folder export so here you can see the files that are being generated by Pro Tools we'll just speed this section of the video up here for you okay then we'll just close this session so here are our split web files we'll clear this list drop our mono web files onto the web file list window and here we can see now that um, we've got single channel webs uh, but we still contains the metadata of who's on what channel and um, Obviously, you can see the timestamp and the naming that these were the five uh, channels from that particular web. They've all got the same start time. So now we can export this as a Pro Tools session. Again, we'll take the defaults. And here, uh, now we can utilize this uh, track uh, name and sorting menu. So this kind of works a bit like the uh, match criteria in the field recorder workflow, where you can tell Eddie Load to load. The particular channel um, by its name or number onto a uh, unique Pro Tools track and it will name the Pro Tools track with that name and or number. Um, so we're just going to use the channel numbers like we did in the field recorder workflow before. Export that just as untitled to the desktop here and we'll just open that. And then here we go, we've got all channels of um, that location record. And again, now we've got these loaded onto the correct tracks. Now, as you can see here, we've actually got, it actually says A4 here, where it's put max here on A6. Now, max is actually on A6 in the record, but what Pro Tools has done here is it's actually named at A4 because it's the fourth track that it created from that poly web. So uh, a little bit confusing, but as you can see, you know, I guess if you want to actually have the correct number here, then you want to use the poly web files as that lifts out the correct number here onto the timeline. So that completes this video on how the Edelode web file list window works. And uh, if you haven't checked out Edelode for yourself, just head to the download page of our website and once you've installed and run the app, just click try to activate a trial license.